Hey Virgo, it is Ashley here at Fire Intuition and I'm here to be your love reading for the first half of May. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. This is general guys, so please do only take what resonates with you, my loves. Let's tap in Virgo, let it be great of course. Let's see what's going on with you guys in love for the first half of May. Uh-oh. If I resonate with you, Virgo, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. There will be an extended reading. We will talk about that at the end. All right, so let's hop in, my loves. Let it be great. Let's see what's going on with you, Virgo. In love. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus, first half of May. Virgo in love. First half of May. Virgo, first half of May. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. First half of May in love. Let's see what your energy is like. So we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay. So that's good. Coming out of some type of illusion. All right. The Seven of Cups in reverse. Could be with the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see what's crossing the Seven of Cups in reverse. We have the Eight of Wands. So movement, change. So something has changed in your love life, in your relationship. Or it's like you're no longer in some type of illusion. Maybe you just didn't believe something. Maybe... You know, you felt like, I don't know, we're going to see, um, let's see, Virgo, where your mind is at. We have the wheel, so it changes. Yeah, a lot of change. Let's see what's going on within your environment. We have the Knight of Swords. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Gemini. You guys can be a twin. Your person can be a twin. Um, this could be your twin because we have two people on this Knight of Swords card. But this is more like Gemini. You and your person can have matching tattoos as well, is what I'm also getting. Um, let's see what's um, in the recent past. We have Justice, Libra Energy, coming into the near future, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. How do you see yourself, Virgo? King of Swords. How do people see you? How, well, how does your person see you? Five of Pentacles. What is yet to unfold? We have the Ten of Pentacles, so that looks good. And the potential outcome. We have the Five of Cups in reverse, all right? So let's see, at the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess, followed by the Strength Card in reverse, all right? So knowing what's right, not wanting to give up, okay? Following and trusting your intuition, which is good. So let's see what's going on, um, Virgo, all right? Because I feel like either this can be interchangeable. What I'm seeing here is that what you thought is, okay, how can I explain it? It's like... I'm not going to say you're, you you want the worst to happen or you're thinking bad, but it's like you're going to be surprised by what is about to happen or what is going to happen because in your cards and how like you kind of see your partner or how your partner sees you, it's opposite of how they see you, okay? Did I say that right? So, all right. So, especially over here, it's like how your partner sees you could be the five of pentacles, but what is yet to happen is the ten of pentacles. So it's just telling me like there's going to be a lot of change. There's more growth. There's there's more commitment coming. There's like there's a lot more coming to the relationship. But you just may not see that or someone may not see that. And someone may be kind of thinking, you know, negative or thinking the worst or something like that. But let's see. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. First half of May. So let's see. Why is the Seven of Cups coming up in reverse? So like I said, that looks good. Coming out of some type of illusion. No longer confused about the situation. We have the three of pentacles. So no longer confused about the relationship or the commitment. So this is telling me that, Virgo, if you didn't know where you stood, if you didn't know if there was a committed relationship, that's going to be discussed. That's what you guys are going to talk about. Or it's like things are becoming more serious. You're taking action, putting plans in action is what I'm also getting. Things are moving forward. So let's see. Let's see why the three of pentacles is here. Knight of Cups, the offer coming in, also some type of engagement as well. So you guys may have some type of secret engagement the first half of May, or it's like, I feel like, so I'm not Taurus, you guys could be dealing with a Taurus. I feel like Virgo, your person wants to take things to the next level, or you do, okay? But let's see. We have the Eight of Wands for what's crossing it, because the Eight of Wands is a message. So let's see, Eight of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So someone wants to say something, but they feel like the other person may not want to give in to what they're saying 
or may not want to give in to what they want at this time or what they are wanting at the time whether that is you um virgo or your person so let's see eight of pentacles in reverse the page of pentacles yeah see someone wants to make an offer someone is like okay let's take things to the next level let's be serious or you know let's see where it can go let's move in with each other let's talk about marriage let's talk about this let's talk about that but someone's also holding back that energy because they're kind of afraid or scared of what the other person is going to say so let's see page of pentacles six of swords so someone is just like you know what we're moving forward things are good things you know are good where they're at like where we're at you know we're at peace we're not arguing we're not fighting we're just moving forward so i'm just going to keep how i feel to myself or i'm just not going to really say what i want or i'm not going to really say much so it's like either this is you virgo or your person someone wants more from the relationship but they're holding back they're not saying it because they're unsure if that's what you want okay they don't know what they don't know what you want all right or they don't know if this is what you want so they're not speaking up so let's see we have a will here the will of fortune is here 10 changes all right so let's see this is where your mind is at let's see two of swords is here so okay i feel like you want this change virgo but at the same time you're just kind of nervous or scared kind of blindfolded to what's gonna happen like okay i want this but you know what about this this and that i also see a 20 i see a two on here so i feel like i know we're in 2021 i feel like by 2022 whatever it is you're wanting or your person is wanting i feel like you guys are going to make that decision together to move forward and do it whether it's marriage whether it's moving in together whether it's like a more serious relationship whatever it may be we have the queen of pentacles that's you the two of cups and the sun i don't your person's not going anywhere okay they're gonna wait for you they're not they're gonna wait for you they're not going anywhere whoever this is they're happy with you they want some type of commitment they do want things to be more serious maybe this is what you're wanting virgo and they're just not saying it but i feel like they want to see it but they're just not saying it or not speaking up about it right now so let's just see how it's going to unfold all right let's see Virgo, we have the Knight of Swords in your environment. Yeah, see, look, the hangman, something delayed, on pause, on hold, but we have it with justice. So it's like also the 10 is all about time, changes, like maybe it's not the right time, but justice is telling me that at the right time or when the timing is right, things are going to move forward. I also feel like with the Knight of Swords being here, both of you guys want to take action towards this new beginning or towards something more serious, but both of you guys can be holding back. It's not like the Knight of Swords to do that, but with the Hangman, the Knight of Swords energy is holding back. So, is it telling me that what's going on in your environment is that someone wants more? Like, someone wants more out of the relationship. Someone wants someone to offer more. Like I said, whether it's marriage, moving in together, whatever it is. Okay? Someone's just not saying that. All right? Um, but it's something that you guys both want. All right, so let's see. We have justice. This is in the recent past. Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, see, look, it's kind of like repeating energy because the Ace of Wands reverse is a delay. Okay, all right, so we're not putting energy into that, into the situation. But with justice, it's like, so for example, Virgo, it's like, say if someone wants to marry you. And they're like, oh, I want to marry Virgo, but I think Virgo's going to tell me, no, I'm not enough. It's not the right time and they don't want to marry me. But you really want to marry this person or be with this person, but they don't think you do. Or it can be where, like, this person is like, um, you know what, Virgo, let's move in together. You know, we've been dating for some time. I think we should move together. And they think you're going to say no. But in your mind, you may have been thinking, like, you know what, I think it's time for us to move in together. It's like whatever this, whatever this is, you both want the same thing, but just not speaking up about it. All right, is what I'm getting. Yes, he paid a cut to verse. And I also feel like someone is also moody and changes their mind. You guys could be dealing with a Taurus. We have a higher font here. It's like, it's like one minute someone is like really into the relationship and they want something serious. And the next minute, it's like you don't like get your person. They could act childish or mature or they're just not being receptive. Or it's like whatever you're putting into the relationship, you don't feel like they're putting back into the relationship. So that can also be the issue. Whether this is, again, if this is you or them, Virgo, whoever it is. But it's like one of you guys are like, you guys both want this. And I don't want to keep repeating myself. So that's the last time I'm going to say this. You both want this, but neither one of you guys are taking action. But I will say one of you guys are either moody or you switch up how you feel at times. So when this person wants to say it, you may not be in that mood at the time. Or they just may feel like it's not the right time. So they're pushing it off or they just, they're not saying anything. All right. So let's see. We have the nine of pentacles coming up from reverse for 
on what's coming into the near future. So let's see why this nine of pentacles is coming up for me first. The seven of wands in reverse. Oh, wow. Okay, so, all right. So someone is not going to give up. That's good. So this is telling me, like, you guys are, for some of you guys, you guys are in a relationship and you're not giving up, okay? There has been a lot of changes or some change, okay? Or you want things to change or be different. But it's like, or you want them to, like, say something, make some type of offer um, or accept an offer. Even if they don't or if that's not what you guys are, um... So even if they don't accept the offer, Virgo, because is this Virgo's energy towards a person? So yeah, look, see decisions. That's you guys. So I feel like Virgo, this is how you guys feel. So, okay, so to go back a little bit, Virgo, you guys are wanting your person to speak up about marriage, commitment, living in, like living with each other, stuff like that. And you want to say something about it. Like you want to say something so bad, but you feel like if you say something to them, they're not going to be ready. For some of you guys, it may be the other way around, but I just ask, is this Virgo's energy? So they're going to the two of wands. You guys can be dealing with a Scorpio. And you may feel like that's a that's a done deal. Like, it's like, you're like, there's no way my person wants this, but I'm ready for change. I'm ready for this, you know, for things to be different. Things have changed. A lot has changed in our relationship. We've been dating for some time. I want something new. I want something different. Death card. And then we have the seven of swords. And we have it with temperance. So... All right. For some of you, Virgo, there's a reason why you may want this more than you would normally want this. Okay. And it could be because there could be, I'm not saying this for all of you guys, but the seven of swords could be like trust issues. So like if you have trust issues with your person, you may feel like, okay, if we live together, they won't be as sneaky. They won't do as much. I don't know where they're at. I'm with them all the time. Or if they ask me to marry them, they won't cheat. They won't lie. They won't do this. Whatever it is. Part of it has to do with something that either happened in the past or it has to do with the fact that you feel like if you guys take things to the next level, you feel more secure in the relationship. You're more calm. You're more at ease. You're more peaceful within the relationship with the temperance card. Okay? For some of you guys. Now, when it comes to your partner, we have the Knight of Wands. So, it's telling me like, let's clarify this energy. If you were to say something to them about it, you guys can be dealing with the Sagittarius. Let's see. We have the Eight of Pentacles. They're all for you. They're all about you. All right? But the Five of Swords, you guys may agree to disagree about certain things. They may tell you, like, okay, like, I want to move in, but let's give it to the end of the year. And that may make you upset. And they may feel like talking about it gets you guys nowhere. So that could be why they're not saying it. Maybe this is something they want. Okay? But you guys just have your differences. But when I see the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles is telling me, like, they're involved. They're around. They're there. Okay? They are invested. And I don't think this person is going anywhere. Okay, I feel like it's all about just timing. Because the emperor's here. So when I see this, it's like you guys are working on a relationship. But someone's coming out of codependency. Okay, progress will be made. Things are changing. Definitely for the better. In this relationship. So that looks good. All right. So let's see why the King of Swords is here for how you see yourself. So the King of Swords is very honest, truthful. Okay, this is bothering you, um, Virgo, for some of you guys. You really want to speak up about moving forward. You really want to speak up about the future and everything you guys have talked about. For some of you guys, you guys really just want commitment and marriage in your future. And you question if it is a part of your destiny. All right, with the... Will of fortune there. All right. You question if it's like, you're like, is this a part of my destiny? Do I see myself getting married? Will I get married? All right. So let's see. The star is here. So you guys have some healing to do. But it's also telling me that with the star, there is a wish that is going to be granted. Okay. It could be with an Aquarius. All right. But it's also telling me like, when I see temperance over here, it's saying like, just take your time. Don't rush anything. The Timbers card is very good energy for a relationship, soulmate energy. Okay, that means that there's a very strong connection, a bond. The universe has brought you guys together. All right, and what's kind of meant to happen is is meant to happen, and it's kind of like an energy where, like, at times you guys do have to like 
balance out the energies and you guys have to understand each other and you may feel misunderstood or you may feel like there's a miscommunication whatever it is it's like with the timbers card you guys can work through the energy this is something that you guys can work on work through but you guys just have to be able to understand each other and communicate with each other so that looks good okay um so far is what i'm getting so let's see we have the five of pentacles this is how your person sees you but we have it with the sun so maybe you guys did hit a rough patch at one point all right maybe things were bad all right between you guys but it's like your person feels like they don't make you happy enough they feel like they want to make you happier or they wish they can make you happier with the sun and the five of pentacles they wish they can give you more and whatever this is that you want virgo whatever it is you want your person like they wish they can give it to you or they want to give it to you all right yeah the four of cups at times they do feel down Okay, about it because they feel like they feel like you do deserve more. They want to give you more. You know, they don't want you to like leave and walk away from them. You know, stuff like that. Our three of swords reverse. This is all about like forgiveness. So I feel like maybe you guys just went through something in the relationship, but with the sun, it looks like you guys can heal this and move on and move forward from whatever whatever happened. They're hoping that you're willing to forgive them. Okay. Or for some of you guys, if this is like a new love situation, like something that's recent like under a year it's like you guys have some past issues um like in your other relationship and it's like this person is like they they hope that they can give you everything you want and more but they just feel like at times if they can't they feel like like your person sometimes feel like feels as if like whatever they do is it's not enough it's never enough okay so let's see we have the ten of pentacles here and this is um This is what's it, what is yet to unfold. So that looks good. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, I see you guys staying in a relationship. I see you guys still dealing with this person. And I see the look, six of wands, victory, success, movement. Okay. Yeah, right now with the moon, you guys could be just going through a phase and like just a phase within your relationship. You know, like every so like what I'm kind of getting is like sometimes, you know relationships fail sometimes even when it comes to like your success your business your career you know sometimes we do fail sometimes we're not successful at everything but it's just saying like just don't give up things go through phases cycles okay and there is still going to be victory and success at the end there is still going to be movement i think towards the end it's like it's just saying like you guys are still going to move forward just give it some time king of wands is here all right let's see someone may find out about something though with the moon so i'm gonna go more into the moon ace of pentacles in reverse um, it could be about the commitment, the relationship, what somebody really does want. Let's see, we have the three of pentacles here with the moon. So, yeah, I feel like your person does want, you know, they do want a serious relationship. They do want commitment. I just feel like with this energy here and your person, I feel like whoever you guys are dealing with, for some of you guys also, um, Virgo, it's like they're the type that wants to pursue the relationship and they want to like take action about like, oh let's move in let's do this and let's do that and i feel like if you're like you know like always like, oh i want this i want that it kind of like it kind of makes them feel some type of way so it's like you guys are dealing with somebody that really does want to take action and do things for you but they just feel like um again sometimes things are they're just not good enough it a wand reverse yeah so that's things slowing down but see look the empress is here they still see you as like their wife their future wife the mother of the child they think that you're very abundant beautiful attractive you know the empress they love a lot of things about you you know the person that you are your personality the energy that you give them or the energy that you give off but um i just feel like this person if you guys do take things to the next level i feel like they want to they want to be the one that approaches it and takes action towards it okay um is what i'm getting so interesting read all right virgo and if i said taurus i'm sorry because i mean virgo i don't know why taurus keeps coming up um but let's see we have the five of uh, cups in reverse so regret and reverse so no longer having regrets no longer looking back you know um finally moving on with the five of cups in reverse four of swords in reverse yeah like you guys are maybe i feel like you guys are going through some type of phase um shedding the old so that the new can come in ace of swords finally having that talk communicating better a victory a breakthrough whatever was hurting the other person whatever was keeping the other person down whatever made you sad it's going to be talked about it's going to be addressed all right we have the five of cups we have the queen of swords it's time for you guys to speak your truth any emotions feelings anything that you guys are holding in holding back without permit it's time for you guys to speak clearly speak your truth that's how you're coming up as a king of swords all right it's time for you guys to let it all out and leave it in the past. 
so that this relationship can move forward. All right. So let's pull some spirit messages and then we'll talk about the extended reading. Virgo. So there are messages on the front and the back. I'm just going to shuffle up whatever flies out. That will be your message. All right. Let's see. Virgo. Message for Virgo. All right. We have guidance that came out. All right. And it says, ask for guidance. The divine will meet your every need. So you guys are needing to ask for guidance. All right, just ask for guidance in this situation. Just ask the universe to step in and help you so that you can figure things out, so that you can gain more clarity on what's going on, how you feel, your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions, everything. Just ask for guidance. All right, let's do one more spirit message for you guys. Virgo, message for Virgo. All right. In the flow, everything is smooth selling. So didn't I just tell you guys? I kind of told you guys something like that. So just go with the flow. All right? In the flow. Everything is smooth selling. So just go with the flow. Don't try to force or rush things with the, um, with the Wheel of Fortune. Change is coming in. Things are changing. A lot of change around you guys. All righty? So definitely loving that. Okay? So, Virgo, in the extended, I'm going to look to see what your person is currently all about. Their current feelings towards this relationship. What are they hiding or keeping from you? Their current hopes and fears when it comes to this relationship, their future intentions, and how will this relationship move forward? Alrighty, the link to the extended will be pinned in the comments below. I hope to see you all on the other side. If not, Virgo, I will see you guys in the next upload. Sending you all love and light. Bye, loves.